What's something that happened to you when you were younger that you thought was okay at the time, but now realize it isn't? My mom used me as her sounding board to complain about my dad, finances, and any other problems. That's why I was mature for my age. No child should have to carry the weight of their parents' marriage with them. I remember every birthday wishing they would get a divorce. She would always complain about how broke we were to the point where I would never tell her I needed lunch money, and I'd just skip lunch because I didn't want to take what little we had. My mom framed it as his being so close. We weren't just mother and daughter, we were friends. Exactly the same thing happened to me. I remember my mom telling me I was her best friend when I was about 13, and she also told me about some affairs my dad had. I hope you are coping with this well. I recently, like this week, started therapy and took a step back from that relationship. As an adult it's easy to see that their marriage problems were likely caused by my mom's affairs and the money problems were because of her gambling. She painted a much different picture to me while growing up. I'm working through it though. Teachers throughout middle school bullied me. They made fun of how cheeky and nerdy I looked and made comments about how I wasn't growing older like the other students they joined in on making fun of me when people joked about me eating dogs slash cats. I mation, at the time I just thought that's how school was. But now I realize they were fucked up. I'm so sorry. Looking back, I'm convinced some people became teachers purely as a power trip. One of my most cringe memories was in the 6th grade. My homeroom teacher was the young, cool guy who thought it was a good idea one morning to work his way through the room and do an impression of each student. Like, how? How did he think that was a good idea? As a 12 year old I thought it was so cool and hilarious. I don't have a kid, but I can only imagine the hellfire I'd rain down on the school if I heard about a similar thing happening. I lost my virginity at 17 to a man who was 63. I thought I was all grown up and now I realize how fucked it was. He was my dad's best friend knew my parents before I was born, during my mother's pregnancy and through my childhood. Holy shit. Did your parents find out? That is despicable. I'm sorry this happened to you. My mom telling me I needed to lose weight when I was running track and field 2 hours a day 5 days a week. My mom would say your bum is getting fat. You should cover it up. I was an athletic, 140 pound teen with a morbidly obese mom. I would wear her oversized shirts to hide my body, colon open bracket. So what you're saying is she had her own issues with her weight and projected them onto you? Being mature for my age, I was mature because I didn't have the option to be a child. No child should be mature and I hate when it's treated like a good thing. Yes that's awful. The same happened to me. Same. Forced live in nanny, housekeeper and eventually counselor, tried to tell my mom to stop talking to me about my dad and she blew the f up I have no one else to talk to and therapy is not happening I'm so glad I moved the f out I feel that so much always in charge of the siblings when she's not there and then when she's actually at home she's telling me about my drug addict aunt and my aunt's abusive boyfriend and her shitty relationship and her sexual trauma I don't want to be an asshole to her, but apparently I'm an asshole when I tell her I don't want to be involved in her and her sister's relationship or that maybe telling your 12 to 13 years old about your sexual assault is too f much for a 12 to 13 year old and she should be talking to a therapist instead. When I was like 5 to 7 y slash oh my brother who's 10 years older than me used me sexually. I remember being okay with it then, but I was just a child. Now I realize it was absolutely not okay, but I have never told anyone about it. I had the same experience. With an older cousin. I have problems interacting with people in general as I'm neurodivergent. But I think this specifically screwed me up, and contributes to me sexualizing some close relationships, ex, with friends, that I don't even want to be sexual. Really sucks. Hope you are doing okay. I'm sorry to hear that. I really relate to what you're describing. All the best to you. Being told as a kid that it was rude not to hug strangers and relatives, accept kisses, sit on laps. I was obligated to hug a male family member and sit on his lap etc. Meanwhile he was molesting me behind closed doors. I had no bodily autonomy. I had no voice. 
if I backed away I was being rude and embarrassing my parents don't do this to your kids. To clarify, it was how things were and I did as I was told and accepted it. So I didn't realize till much later in therapy that I really wasn't okay with it at the time. But back then I thought I was because I didn't feel like there was any other way to think. This, this was my mother. I swear in another life she would have made an excellent procurer. Yup, if a kid has a reason to back away from affection. Whether it's wet sloppy grandma cheek kisses and cheek pinching to creepy uncle come sit on my lap in your little sundress things. Kids need to feel safe, and in those situations, they do not. It's not sexual assault or anywhere close, but I used to hate hugging my aunt BC she would always hug me, so tight in such a way that that my earring in one of my ears would smash eye to the side of my head, and poke a hole. TW slash sap being, touched and subsequently made to perform sex acts by someone I knew, and trusted when I was a child slash minor slash saying no. In school they taught us all about stranger danger. Getting flashed in public by a stranger. Getting groped by a stranger. A stranger forcing themselves onto you. But little to no teaching about how the threat might be in your own home. It's more likely to come from home that's a stranger too. They should teach it. Absolutely. I recently had my kindergartner do a class online that emphasized the concept of tricky people and they made it very clear that it could be anyone. Including the adults in your home slash your cousin slash parents friend slash etc. I think it would be very helpful if they'd include lessons about this for kids very early on in school. I taught my kids to never go anywhere with anyone who was taller than they were. Worked great for everyone, that is until they were 11 I shun quite a bit taller than average humans. Losing my virginity at 16 to a 36 year old man. The older I've gotten. Especially being 35 now, and having a 16 year old, the more disgusting I find it. I was 13, and he was 21. I thought it was the coolest thing ever, to have an older boyfriend. I didn't consent to losing my virginity though. Just woke up, after drinking with him on top of me. Thought it was normal, and proceeded to have sex with him a couple more times and we broke up. Can't remember why. I had just turned 13 and he was 25. But first he took my sister's virginity who was 15. Can't believe I ever thought that was okay. I didn't know he took my sister's virginity too until years later. They made us believe it was okay. That what they do. Yeah. Being told I wanted it, even though I was literally so scared and wanted out, before I even got in the room. I hated it so much. I was crying my first time and thought it was okay bc backquote the way I was acting and dressing I wanted it. My mom used to brag about how engrossed I could get in a book like it meant she was so great for raising a good reader. She'd tell anyone who would listen that she could be in the same room with me, calling my name multiple times, and I wouldn't hear. I'd be too focused on the book. Lady, I was dissociating from your traumatic app dollar sign dollar sign. My memory is like a brick of Swiss cheese these days. Thanks so much for that. Oh god some ee ee. I self harmed when I was around 7 or 8 for the first time and confided in my mum because I was panicking about wounds. She told me to hide my arms and not tell anyone or I'll get locked up in the loony bin. The first time my kid told me he had an urge to sh- I spoke to him openly and honestly about my own experience and then booked him in with a counsellor. It was only then that I realized my mother should have done the same instead of making me feel ashamed. My first time was when I was 13. When my mom saw, she said if you want to K-lines yourself you should see T lower. What in the actual fuck? I'm so sorry. Mine pretended to not see the cuts on all of my limbs but that's nothing compared to your mom. I hope you're doing better these days. I'm trying. How many people in my family kept checking on my parents' relationship through me? They'd ask. Coerce him into talking about whether if they're fighting and who I think is right. I was already living in a house with violent people who kept fighting and made me feel like I had to walk on eggshells. And at the end they made me feel like my life was about my parents' failed relationship and I was responsible of them. One of them really asked after the divorce whether if I think my mom or my dad was at fault. I was on a holiday with my aunt's family because my parents were divorcing and my mom wanted me to be somewhere else for it. Close bracket. Wow. 
This is actually so f relatable. Being parentified, like, no, being the most responsible 8 year old is not a good thing, came here to say the same. I wasn't even the oldest child, but was the only girl, and therefore responsible for managing everything and everyone in the household. I used to be proud it made me so independent, but through therapy, have learned it was really damaging. Having to completely adapt my behavior, so I did not set off my parents anger slash negative reactions. Also, having a parent threaten suicide, and feeling it was my responsibility, to stop them which resulted, in having an elaborate process of hiding car keys and other things. Oh my god that is terrible. I have been on the receiving end of suicide threats by a friend. But I can't even imagine how horrible that must be for a child when their parents do it. I'm so sorry that happened to you. Starting puberty at age 4. Nobody explained to me what was happening to my body, or why it was different from other girls my age. Kids made fun of my body hair. One girl planned a pool party and invited me, just so they could laugh at me when we changed into bathing suits. When I asked why I was taller and shaped different from the other kids, my mom just told me that I got round, which made me think I was fat, when actually I was very thin, just curvy. I wasn't allowed to talk about anything below the waist. So my chronic uterus and extremely painful periods were not explained nor treated. And now I have permanent damage to my urinary tract. I think I should have been put on puberty blockers. As I stopped growing, when I was 9. So much trauma that could have been averted, if only my family weren't so repressed. That's terrible. I'm so sorry. I didn't even know you could hit puberty that young. I guess it's hereditary. All we've talked about is height. But my dad was his adult height at age 11 or 12. My daughter started showing signs at 6. So, must be genetic. Actual grown men flirting with me when I was 13 over 14, because I looked 18. I only realized how creepy that was when I was an adult myself.